Welcome to How to Pin a Beetle. In this video you will learn how to pin a beetle for your forage entomology collection. Notice in the diagram that the pin goes in the right elytra in the upper right hand side. Next use your pinning block to make sure that your height on the pin is correct. For Nebraska 4-H, we look for 3 eighths of an inch to 1 half inch. Having put the beetle back in your styrofoam, begin to use pins to position the antenna and legs into lifelike positions. It is important to position the legs and the tarsi or the feet in such a way that they are observable. Occasionally, the specimen will rotate on you and you will need to use an additional pin to hold it in place while you work on the legs. The legs and the tarsi of beetles are particularly important for identification purposes, so that's why it is important you need to be able to see all the characteristics that may be on those legs. Occasionally you may have a leg that is difficult or refusing to go where you want it to be positioned and a second pin can be quite useful to get that leg into the position that you want it. Oftentimes you'll have antenna legs that will move during positioning. Simply reposition those. This is what your finished product may look like. Oh,